Hello, I'm Marie. And I'm Emmeline. And we are Wisdom Preserved. Where we are preserving the wisdom of the lost arts for life. Today we are going to be teaching you three methods to separate cream from your milk when you obtain raw milk. Right, so this is some milk that we got from my sister Linda. It's fabulous. Yes. She works at Green Valley Dairy in Cashman, Washington, and we are going to start by showing you the cream line here. If you look, you can see a nice deep cream section and then the milk that's kind of yellowish, maybe a little bit bluish Let's there. Oh yes, from sorry. The, the <laughs> from the label. side without the label. Yeah, right here. Okay. And the first method we want to show you is using the turkey baster. Neither of us had tried this before we started researching things for our video, but we thought we'd give it a shot. I thought it would be really, really messy, and so I didn't think that I would like it very much. But I thought it's very precise. I feel like I can get exactly what I'm looking for with it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it. You go ahead and you depress the bulb, put the tip just in the very top of the cream, and slowly release. Oh, and this has such thick cream, this one here. You can tell. You must have been setting this for a few yeah, days. Yeah, I did. Now remember, to get the heaviest cream, you want to let your milk set for about five days to, to really get this heavy cream. You can do it after 24 to 48 hours, and it should have a pretty good separation there. And so now what but you... But for the cream to thicken up takes the extra days. You can even let just right. the cream set. Right. Okay, so then... You just squeeze it right out into oh, your container. Beautiful. And you would go down until you had about one fourth to maybe as much as one half of an inch of cream. The big thing is you just don't want to get the milk in with it. And generally speaking, you're gonna get a little bit of milk in with your cream. And if you do, yeah. like this is one that I did before. I like making sure that I do a different kind of jar for my cream so I can see the difference. And it still has just this little line of milk down on the bottom here. That came in with it, or that re separated right. later. Right, right. And so if I have something that I want to do heavy cream, then I let the cream itself sit for just a couple of days. And then after those couple of days, I get the little bit of milk in the bottom, and so I get a container to put the milk into. And then I'm actually going to take the turkey baster, and this is one of my favorite things to do with the turkey baster, and I go down, let me see if I can get it where you can see it better. I go down past the cream, and then I just suck up the milk from underneath it. And you wanna suck up really slowly, cause you don't wanna get too much cream in there with it, and just kinda slowly move it around. If you agitate it too much, then you'll get the cream in with a lot of the milk. Uh-huh. Look but, at that, it's coming out beautifully. Oh, it's so great. Honestly, I don't even worry if I get some of the lower levels of the cream in with it because I feel like, you know, that's still leaving me that really heavy cream that's yeah. on the top, which is really what I want. Put that, right. So this is a great way to get that heavy cream particularly for making whipped cream, which, I mean, homemade whipped cream from raw milk is amazing. And the butter. And, yes, the, <laughs> yeah, butter, the butter, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whipped cream and butter. This heavy cream where all of the milk is separated yes. out from makes beautiful butter and whipped cream. So, and now at this point, I mean, there's maybe a teeny tiny bit at the bottom there I might go for another time or two just to make sure that I have it all. And then I feel like I can use that to make my whipped cream and it's gonna fluff up beautifully and I'm not gonna have any trouble with no that. No problems whatsoever. So, yeah. So here's our next method. Yep. The second method is the ladle. You see we have two sizes here. This really depends on what size your container is. I remember growing up, going out to my grandparents' farm and my grandmother would bring the buckets in and then we would allow the buckets to separate with the cream and she would use a larger ladle in order to separate that. For our purposes today, this larger ladle is too big, and so we're going to be using a gravy ladle. Now the trick with the ladle method of obtaining cream is if you push it straight down, you're going to be messing up or pressing your cream into your milk and losing this beautiful and cream. It kind of agitates it and gets it, it mixed uh -huh. back in. Yeah. So we actually want to be using a very light scooping method 
to pull it out and then at the very end we'll use a tilting and a draw method never pressing down so in this thing of cream here what I like to do in the beginning is scooping towards myself now you can see we don't want to go past here what I'm doing is just barely scooping from the top and at the beginning you can just kind of estimate because you've got yeah. a fair amount of space there exactly and so we can just kind of scoop it out here pretty easily yeah. and the heavy cream always rises right to the top you can see how much thicker it is when you mm -hmm. do it and it just the ladle method is really quick and easy. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the method that I've actually done for years, mm -hmm. but it's nice to know that there's a couple other ways to do things too. Yeah. Okay, so I want to see, now this time we pulled in the tiniest bit of milk right there. Okay, so no more. Yeah, you more can kind of see a swirl of milk yeah. in it. No more scooping now. At this point, you can see right there is where I agitated it. Right. You can see it come up. So we're going to now tilt, and I like to go away. You can perhaps tilt towards you, but this is just what I'm used to. And then I let it flow, and I'm going to go a lot slower, barely sinking it in. And again, and you go down up. to about a quarter of an inch, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And at this point, you know, each of my scoop bowls, my ladle bowls, are not quite full all the way. You know, see, I, my right. ladle's only about half full. I would end up too deep if I, if I tilted it too much more. And I'm just going to go until I see, okay a milk float mm -hmm. in a tiniest bit. At this point, I'm going to most likely leave it or right now that we found this precise method, go back to the turkey baster. This uh, uh, brings the cream off quickly. I right. think if I'm kind of more in a hurry, yeah. don't need the precision as much, um, this works great. And actually it is quite precise also. Sure. But um, you can see we're down to just that little quarter or just above a quarter of an inch of Remaining. Which is fine because then you just have creamy milk yes. to drink. Well, and you know, that's a, that's great on the top of, of cereal or in whatever you're using milk for for your recipes. Right, right. Nothing wrong with that. So our the, next thing that we're going to do, <laughs> this one's I know, I know, we're excited about this. This is actually <laughs> our favorite method. This is, right? has quickly become our most favorite method mm -hmm. is by putting our milk into a jar with a spout or spigot, however you like to say that. Um, and just putting it on the shelf in, in the fridge. And what Marie's found, this is so perfect for the uh -huh. kids, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's super great because if they want a glass of milk, they just go into the refrigerator. I've got it right at the edge and they just pull the milk off of the bottom. And what I do is I just continue to add milk to it. Yeah. And until I have a really good band of cream. So right now our cream line is like right there. That's a good amount of cream. That's a lot of cream yeah. in here. But it's super great because I don't necessarily think about separating cream every day. So right. since I don't think about separating it every day, then we can't get to the milk, right? Right. But this way, you can get to the milk without having done the separation. Exactly. Super great. You just have to plan ahead because it takes, you know, 24 to 48 hours for it exactly. to separate. Now we want to remove this milk off because what needs to happen is the cream needs to be below the spout. And so we still have milk. So we're going to show you how easy it is right. to bring the milk. And we're going to not only drain it down, but then we're going to lift and tip it to make sure that we get as much milk out as possible and get it as, as low as we possibly can. Now you don't actually want that cream line all the way down to the bottom. Right. Just a little bit below where the spout entry is mm -hmm. because you don't want it like right at the spout entry or you're going to get a mixture of the milk and the cream and being drawn off. But you want to drop it just a little bit below that and then everything you're getting at that point is cream. It's super easy. So let's and go ahead and show you. You need to do it slowly. Otherwise, uh -huh. right. if you go too fast, then the cream is just going to fall and mix in with the milk. So there's a, there's a precise, uh, precision to this. So we're going to let some sure. come off and then I'm going to start tilting to make sure. So this is all just the cream. And you can the, see the level the drop, milk. or the milk, excuse me. And you want to keep it from going too horribly fast. But for the most part, it will be fine. How are we doing now? Okay, I'm going to now lift and tilt slowly and carefully. This is, of course, a little bit easier if you have someone helping you. So we're just pulling off the milk. So let's go ahead and check that cream line, see where it's at. I'm doing this slowly and carefully. 
I think we need just a little bit more. Okay, because right now it's just about at half okay. So let's let's tilt it. You want to set this on the counter even? And oh, I'm sure. Turn it high. That'll work. And since she's tilting it, she's getting more of the bottom part, more of the milk over near that spout so that we're not pulling off the cream. Okay, that. yeah, I think that's probably pretty good. And I'm trying to do it carefully here. There and we now, go. Yeah, yeah we've right got there, that milk cream. line right, or cream so line right there. So you can see we're now just at the base of the, the spigot. So now as we pull off, all of this cream should pull off right down there to our milk. And so, and so now to get the cream, all you have to do is open okay. that up and yeah. the cream just pours out. It's and amazing. you can see how much thicker it is. We can actually hear the difference mm -hmm. uh, between the milk and the cream because it's thicker um, than the thin milk. And just so easy. You don't have the messy implements. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably my favorite feature. I is that it you just... have to do as many yeah. dishes. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't believe we didn't find this sooner. Right, right. <laughs> Just goes to show there's always Someone that's another method out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's such a good idea to just keep your mind open and try new things. Yes, exactly. We are almost there. Mm -hmm. And there's still cream in there. So probably what I'll do is add more milk to this, allow yeah. it to separate, and then pull off the rest of the cream tomorrow again. Yeah. So one whole jar of cream. Of cream. And that's how easily that was separated. Mm, yeah. So if you have any questions, go ahead and post them below. Thank you so much. Bye.